Peace, peace. What's going on, family? It's your brother Kevin now of the Black Now Tahamas. <clears throat> Let me show you the Black Mound again in case you need to see it again. titled this show for this entry into the log. Losing family you never met. The effects of the trafficking of American Indians. <laughs> I lost a family member that I never met. <laughs> All crossed up here, staring at screens and shit. I said I was going to show you first what the black now. So let me show you that. That's the Black Mound called Sentinel Peak in A Mountain. As you can see, there's a crater on the side opposite the side where my tribe dwell
<clears throat> That's the black noun. And I am Kevin L. of the Black Mount Tahamas. Anglicized, that's Thomas. Right. <clears throat> So like I was saying, losing family, you never met the effects of the trafficking of American Indians. Because we are American Indians. No matter how much they try to hide it. But uh, let me show you about my family that I never met, that I lost. <clears throat> right here, Amarillo police. Murder suspect dead from self-inflicted gunshot wound at the police chase. <clears throat> All right. Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo police say the suspect in the first homicide of 2024 has died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. All right, the first homicide of 2024. And my tribe is involved. <clears throat> It says on Wednesday around 8 p.m., officers responded to a reported shooting at Sam Houston Park. The victim was taken to an area hospital where he later died from his injuries. <clears throat> Police identified the victim as 20-year-old John Edward Red. That's my cousin. And then it says the Amarillo Police Department homicide unit began investigating and obtained a warrant or a murder warrant for 18-year-old Jaqueline Elijah Badillo or Badillo. All right. <clears throat> Police conducted surveillance on a home Hillcrest near Plains Boulevard. Police say Badillo ran from the home. Officers were chasing him when he ran between two houses on Wolflin Street near Western Street. The suspect was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm fine. So the Amarillo Police Department homicide unit is investigating the case. These are the pictures. Nope. The blue Taurus is present. <clears throat> Greenhouse. This is the Amarillo police respond to shooting on Wolfman Street. Credit KFDA. 
KFDA. FDA, like Food Drug Administration, is a better shot of the police Taurus, but the blue Taurus, <clears throat> which is parked in the driveway currently, not moving because of the front end steering hub assembly. But continuing on, these are just things that come into my head as I'm reading and seeing. Because, you know, my family been, my family just posted about it in our family chat. All right. We're calling it the first murder, 2024. <clears throat> and that murder ties to my family. Another, you mean, leaf from our tree. But that's that story. You know what I mean, it's just developing, obviously. So we're just getting the um, information about it. Although the article is dated the 18th for four days ago. You know what I mean, that's how long it took for lose the travel. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's check it out. Yeah. John Edward Red, 20 years old, survived by his grandmother Christine, his mother Tahisi. And Aunt Rose, which is my cousins, as well as many family members and friends. That would be us. <clears throat> my aunt posted that in our own family room. But yeah, these are some of the lasting effects of the trafficking of American Indians because we wound up in so many <clears throat> diverse places disconnected. Like we're just reconnecting now. In fact, we're going to celebrate that reconnection coming up soon in the summertime. You know I mean? Coming into the beginning of the season of who? The moves. Or Thomas. Marked by the sign of the twins. <clears throat> so. so.
That's what I mean. The first murder. You know what I mean? In Amarillo. Amarillo. See, it made me want to do stuff like look up what Amarillo means. You know what I mean? What is the meaning or the etymology of Amarillo? Amar. Amar. The name Amarillo, which means yellow in Spanish, was probably chosen because of the color of the subsoil in nearby Amarillo Creek. In the early days, most houses were painted yellow in honor of the name. <clears throat> A county court was built in 1888 a brick made from the Amarillo Creek, 1888. Three years after the birth of Jerry Bilbo the first, my great, great grandfather. Right. But that's what it means. <clears throat> Amber, Amber. You can't see the definition. I'm going to share it with you shortly. I'm a real. And stop sharing it. And go to this. Amarillo, now name of several species of American trees from Spanish, from Arabic, and barley. <clears throat> Yellow, amber colored, from Anbar, amber, see amber. The city Amarillo in Texas, United States, may be so called from the color of the banks of a nearby stream. Yellow, amber fire color, right? Yellow light, the amber light. Because right. <clears throat> it's a fiery situation. Because it's a fiery situation. Guns was fired, you know what I mean? What does amber mean? What is the etymology of amber? I knew an amber. <clears throat> now, mid-14th, amber, grace, amber, gris, perfume made from amber, gris, from the phrase in old French, 13th century in medieval Latin, from Arabic, anbar, amber, gris, morbid, secretion of sperm well intestines used in perfumes and cookery <clears throat> morbid secretion of sperm well intestines used in perfumes and cookery well that's not easy to come by see ambergris which was introduced in the west at the time of the crusades See, the Crusades were tied back into 
um, what we're talking about here, which is the effect of the trafficking of American Indians. Arabic Indy, often pronounced Mb. So Umbergris, Umbar. Right? In Europe, the word amber was extended to fossil resins from the Baltic, late 13th century in Anglo, in Anglo Latin, 14th in English, or 1400 in English. And this has become the main sense of the use of ambergris as the use of ambergris has waned. Perhaps the perceived connection is that both were found washed up on seashores, or perhaps it is a different word entirely of unknown origin. Formerly, they were distinguished as white or yellow amber for the Baltic fossil resin and ambergris, gray amber. French distinguished the two substances as ambergris and amber joan. Remarkable for its static electricity properties, Baltic amber was known to the Romans as electrum, compared with electric. Amber as an adjective in English is from circa 1500, as a color name, 1735. In the Old Testament, it translates Hebrew kashmal, a shining metal, All right? <clears throat> All of which was used. A shining metal. You know what I mean? To take the life of one of my family, one of the leaves off of our tree. Two leaves gone because, you know what I mean? The Baradio family also lost someone. All right. Amber. Mm -hmm. The trafficking of American Indians, the Crusades, right? And what were the Crusades? What were the Crusades? What were the Crusades? Let me check it out on history.com find out what the crusades were according to history.com crusadas crusades the crusadas It says the Crusades were a series of religious wars. Here, let me share it with you. Let me share it with you. So we can read together. We can read together. The Crusades were a series of religious wars between who christians and muslims started primarily to secure control of holy sites considered sacred by both groups in all eight major crusade expeditions 
varying in size, strength, and degree of success occurred between 1096 and 1291. The costly, violent, and often ruthless conflicts enhanced the status of European Christians, making them major players in the fight for land, in the fight for land in the Middle East. That's what the Crusades was about, land, right? Trying to get that land because it gave rise to the doctrine of discovery, going out to discover land, right? By the end of the 11th century, Western Europe had, a, had emerged as a significant power in its own right, Western Europe. Though it is though it still lagged behind other Mediterranean civilizations, such as the Byzantine Empire, formerly the eastern half of the Roman Empire, and the Islamic Empire of the Middle East and North Africa. Still called Africa, Afar, Afarica. See, it's divided. North, West. Southeast, you know, this is the North Division, North Africa. However, Byzantium had lost considerable ter territory to the invading Seljuk Turks. After years of chaos and civil war, the general Alexius Comnenus, Comnenus, seized the Byzantine throne in 1081 and consolidated control over the remaining empire as emperor. Alexius I started building the empire. In 1095, Alexius sent envoys, 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 don't envoys sound like envoys? to Pope Urban II, asking for mercenary troops from the West to help confront the Turkish threat. Yeah, Alexius sent some people to the Pope asking for mercenary troops, you know, because the Pope, he just kept mercenary troops on deck. You know what I mean? <clears throat> You think it don't be leading up to something, but it's leading up to something. Because all this war and all this shit is what they brought over here. And divided us up. You know I mean? Played on beefs that we had between ourselves and escalated those beefs. the same way they do today right eventually it's going to come out why um that child they were both children for real why that child um killed a member of my family and you know I me mean? in the park that'll come out. All right. So continuing on because we're talking about the trafficking of American Indians and its effect. Right? You call it the slave trade, but it was trafficking. You know what I mean? mercenaries pirates you mean adventurous you mean like adventure capitalist venture capitalist right so it continues though relations between christians in the east and those in the west 
had long been fractious. Alexius's request came at a time when the situation was improving. In November 1095, at the Council of Clermont in southern France, the Pope called on Western Christians to take up arms to aid the Byzantines and recapture the Holy Land from Muslim control. This marked the beginning of the Crusades. See? The Pope asked the Western Christians to take up arms to go over there and get that land from them Muslims. Now, who you think them Muslims was? Who you think them ones of peace was? So, Pope Urban's plea was met with a tremendous response, both among the military elite as well as ordinary citizens. Those who joined the armed pilgrimage wore a cross as a symbol of the church. Started marching out with them crosses on their chest. All right. They had their Jesus piece, but it was stitched on. So the Crusades set the stage for several religious knightly military orders including the Knights Templar, the Teutonic Knights, and the Hospitallers, right? These groups defended the Holy Land and protected Christian pilgrims. Pilgrims, say that word again, traveling to and from the region. They brought that same shit over here. Right? Because these are those same invading Europeans, the Spanish, the French, and the English, so-called Britons. Add in the German and the Dutch. Right? But that's the Crusades. And the Crusades, after they ran that scheme over there, they decided to continue on with that scheme and bring the scheme over here. See, I'm dropping some jewels. These are spirit jewels. I mean, on the situation. The first crusade was 1096 to 1099. And that time, it would have just been like we do now. 96 through 99. Three years. But see how that 96 is there? That 96 code lets you know it was life and death. Life and death situation. That's why you see those two spirals in the nine and the six, right? When you superimpose them on top of each other, you get the symbol for tornadoes, hurricanes, bad weather. You know what I mean? On to the 99. You know what I mean? Which one superimposed is just a spiral counterclockwise. Shit going down the drain. I mean, that's all it led to. <clears throat> that's all it led to. Right. But you can check that out at history.com. That's where that's 
That's where I was reading that from. Now that um, my account has been verified, I can do special things with YouTube. So we're going to see how that play out when I go to load this up. Because I'm still not recording live yet. Still ain't doing no lives yet. These are just conversations with myself. You know what I mean? Coming to terms with some things. And this is one of them. The effects of the trafficking of my ancestors as American Indians here in America. You know what I mean? Never mind that before any of this took place, we were still a large family. You know what I mean? Separated from our kin east of the Atlantic the Atlantic, right? But we obviously had dealings with each other. A losing family you ain't never met. And who knows when we had this gathering that was coming up in the summer he might have been there, but that's not going to happen now because, you know, we're killing each other, right? And that's been the plan, too. As long as um they can keep us killing each other, they know we won't be on their backs and on their necks. You know what I mean? You notice that's an image that they never really wanted to be broadcast and shown on television. They'll show us killing ourselves in all kinds of ways, but they won't show us uh, getting down on them. You know, it creates a false perception in your mind. Plus, you know, they use that religion. Remember the Crusades, religious war right to ideologies you know what i mean because the great spirit you know what i mean all that shit is embodied within the great spirit there is no argument about the great spirit who we call kulum Others call Jehovah. You know what I mean? Many, many different names, still one source. So, I'm starting to realize that's also a word that we all use a lot as far as the Tahamas. So that'll be how the conversation, whether it's with someone else or whether it's with ourselves, will start. It'll start with self. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> see what I mean? Yeah, like I said, I'm just um getting accustomed to messing around to messing around with these uh videos and keeping my family. up to date on what's going on with me, you know I mean, as well as, uh, you know, vent, because you need to vent and let things out, especially, you know I mean, when you're talking with your family, those family that you know, 
in those families, like my cousin who was just taken from us. Those that you don't know, they family nonetheless. You might not feel the connection like you spent time with them, but know that a leaf has dropped from your tree and our tree is expansive. It is a large tree, large tree. You know what I mean? So, again, there's that word. So, so I'm going to um, wrap this up. You know what I mean? But the traffic, it got us separated. We don't know each other. We don't remember, you know what I mean, the tribes that we came from and the tribes have been overran by federally recognized, you know what I mean? Those that's confederate, you know what I mean? With the United States, that federation, you know what I mean? Some of our ancestors, you know what I mean? Had hand in that, you know what I mean? or in the rebellion on both sides, you know I mean, in all the wars. These are the things that we're starting to learn now and are starting to be returned to our remembrance, right? And the more that we learn and the more that we reach out, the more we can reconnect, you know what I mean? And make some things happen, you know? Because when we look at it, you know what I mean, it just looked crazy over here. Like, you mean to tell me the land that was ours, we don't got hardly no parts of it. The industries that have sprung up here, we don't own none of those major industries. No aerospace, no automotive, no power or electric, no ship building. That just seemed crazy. On a land that is ours, it was my ancestors that you came across when you arrived here. And we already had a civilization set up, towns, villages, cities, right? Some accessible, some inaccessible, right? And out of all of that, all the minerals, oil, and all these things that were found here on our land, you telling me we don't own no parts of that? That's just crazy to me. There is no American Indian fuel company. with oil wells. Oh, because these foreigners came tied into the vines and took the land the same way that they ran the scheme over there with the Crusades. They brought that Christianity over here. Right? They brought that trafficking of people over here. All right? Because the Dutch was already trafficking, you know what I mean, the indigenous peoples in so-called Africa, those along the coast anyway. All right? 
But you know, these is all things that we can talk about. I mean, because these are the things that affect us as American Indians. That's got us so fractured and separate. Like I didn't tell about the story of my own father. I'm gonna get around to that. You know what I mean? About not knowing. You know what I mean? Whole sides of your family, the family tree. Like I got uncles that I just met, you know what I mean? That were my father's brothers. You know what I mean? Still waiting to meet another of my uncles. That's away right now. I had, I had, and I had and have aunts. You know what I mean? My brothers or my father's sisters. You know what I mean? Father now deceased. You know what I mean? Please be upon him. Tell them, you know what I mean? When they inspired me to give out heavenly happy birthdays, you know what I mean? To remind ourselves that they, you know what I mean, have returned to the heavens. You know what I mean? Back among the heavens to carry out more work. So I started wishing my father happy heavenly birthdays. You know what I mean? My father, my so-called stepfather, I mean, fathers in general, as well as mothers. You know what I mean? Let's not get it twisted. Don't want y'all to start thinking nothing crazy and shit because mothers is the most important. You know what I mean? Because we all come through the vortex, the stargate of a woman. You know what I mean? Also got disconnected from that knowledge and that, you know what I mean, whole stream. You know, reconnecting back to that. You know what I mean? Just the natural way of things, the things that you see carried out directly front your eyes. Er day, er day. Like I said, though, I ain't gonna hold y'all. You know what I mean? Losing family you never met. The effects of the trafficking of American Indians. And like I say, people call it a slave trade, but you can't buy and sell human beings, man. That's trafficking. That's the same thing that's going on right now. Whether it's sex trafficking, labor trafficking, you know what I mean? As the influx of people is coming across these borders into North America, North America, right? Uncontested to set up shop, getting benefits even. So, I'm just saying, they're getting benefits even. You know what I mean? I done seen them out here, right? Seen them out here. So I know it's real. And the funny thing about it, look, still going on. The funny thing about it is, my father used to tell me about this very thing happening to him out in California when he was a young man coming up working the farms, right? Because my grandfathers, my ancestors, whose records I have thus far, were all farmers, you know what I mean? 
because my father was a farmer early on or worked on a farm early on, but then branched off, I mean, and learned to do a business for himself, one which I'm carrying on. I mean, go start a or this will be the continuation of the Jerry Bilbo dynasty. Because you know, dynasties are families. You know what I mean? Families who run the family business in the name of the family. All right. So the Jerry Bilbo dynasty, I would be Jerry Bilbo the fourth. Right. Uh -huh. Jerry with the sword. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, me and my father, we was both Jerry with the curl. <laughs> Rocking the Jerry curls back in the day. But yeah, you know, that's some West, that's some West Coast shit. Didn't see it too much, you know what I mean, when I got out here to the east. You know what I mean? But in the West, obviously, you know, it was a big thing because look at all your stars. You know I mean, your ice cubes, your easy ease. You know what I mean? Your uh, MC8s. You know what I mean? The list goes on. So. You know, Jerry Bilbo is the Bilbo is also the name of a sword. You know what I mean? And my ancestors came up in war. You know what I mean? We don't really think about that. But look at the dates, man. Remember, it's been an ongoing invasion. Still continuing right now. Right? Tribes is turned against tribes. You got to jump through hoops. The Yemi mess around with these federal, um, federally recognized tribes. I mean, we the unrecognized. Nevertheless, we're still parts of these tribes. They are our family. You know what I mean? We clicked up together. As you You know what I mean? And that whole confederation clicked up together to fight the invaders. You know what I mean? As they was using divide and conquer, you know what I mean, amongst our tribes. Same thing that's going on now. So I said, I ain't gonna hold y'all and whatnot. I'm gonna wrap it up. So leave a comment. Peace.